Welcome to another video for the unit circle. In this video, we're going to be discussing the angles. Angles are a lot more straightforward than the other two topics. So we're just going to start off with zero on our, uh, on our right side. And then we go to 90 degrees. Okay, so we're going to go to our four corners first like we have in previous videos, 180 degrees. And then another 90 is 270 and then finally a full 360 all the way around okay so then starting from uh, our first angle we have 30 degrees and then 15 on top of that is 45 you'll, no you'll notice that that 45 degree angle is in the middle of the 60 and 30 so that would be the um, the difference 15 degrees for the halfway point I mean and then another 30 degrees that's 90 oops let me back up Okay, 90 degrees, and then another 30 on top of that is 120, and then plus 15 to that is 135, plus another 15 is 150, and then 180, 210, 225, 240, 270, and then 300, 315, and then 15 on top of that is 330, and then finally 360. So a full 360 degrees, okay? And then uh, our coordinates, going back to our first video, these are the coordinates to the unit circle. And then our radians. Recall that in the blue are, are divided into sixths, and that's every 30 degrees. Every 30 degrees, you add a one sixth to it. And, uh, and then you can go back and simplify them. And then our numbers in, in green our numbers in green are represented by our fourths, right? So every 45 degrees, you add a fourth. Okay, so that does it for this particular video. It's a very short one, but uh, I'm kind of showing you all the different, all the different systems in one. Our coordinates, our radians, and our angles put into one. Do remember again that every 30 degrees, you get our uh, pi over 6, you add 1 pi over 6 radians, okay, so we got 1 pi over 6, 2 pi over 6, 3 pi over 6, 4 pi over 6, all the way to 12 pi over 6, which ends up giving you 2 pi at the end, where our 360, our 360 degree mark is. And then every 45 degrees, you have a fourth of a pi, okay, so you have 4 pi, 5 pi, 6 pi, uh, 6 pi over 4, 7 pi over 4, and to ultimately 8 pi over 4, which simplifies to 2 pi, where our 360 degree mark is. So please recall that uh, this unit circle is very intuitive. You don't have to sit there for hours on end memorizing each coordinate point or radian if you just understand uh, the sets, the overall arc, the overall story, if you will, that the unit circle is trying to tell you. So there are many ways that the unit circle is used in calculus, and I'll make another video uh, showing you how, um, how exactly that is. And uh, there's one more trick that we have up our sleeve, um, and uh, that's what the next video will be about in memorizing the coordinate points for the unit circle. Well, I hope this helped. Good luck in your study, and thanks for watching.